Friday. It's World Boss Jokes. I welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the post notification bell down below. Also, follow me on all my social medias. You know, stay in touch with me, get to know me. Link is in the description as per usual. So, as you can see, your girl, your family, Canada look a little bit, just a little tiny bit, drag up today. So today what we're going to do is a little self-care, me time routine. Um, and uh, hopefully this will refresh me a little bit. And I'm kind of excited because I haven't done this in a while. It's just been school and then <gasps> all kind of thing. So if you're interested, you know, um, stay tuned. Get into the self-care vibe with me. You know, grab your little quitrements and let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is making my bed. I feel like this just gives me a clearer headspace. It makes me feel more comfortable in my space and in my room. And it just makes me feel calm. And it soothes me. So that is how I would usually start my self-care just by clearing my mind and my space okay so now i'm about to turn on some nice soothing music i went with cello music i love classical music since i used to do ballet all right so now i'm putting on an old t-shirt because i am about to dye my hair and I don't want it to mess up a good shirt that I already have. Okay, so this is me just mixing the dye, getting it ready, putting it in my hair. I was getting low-key scared while I was doing this because I didn't want it to stay in my hair too long. I just wanted a hint of red in my hair, you know, something fresh for the new year coming up. Nothing major. Now I'm washing out the dye out of my hair, simply with water, no other products as yet, just getting as much of the excess as I can out of my hair. I am using cold water to avoid any excess frizz and... Uh, Despite popular opinion, I find cold water soothing. I know usually people go with warm water, but since I have eczema, I prefer to take a shower in cold water. Up next, I am going through my entire head with some nice thick conditioner. I mixed both the conditioner that came in the box dye along with my own deep conditioner and I'm just you know distributing it all around my head I started with the ends first and made my way up to the top So now I'm exfoliating my legs with the coffee scrub that I got for Christmas. It was in my what I got for Christmas haul so if you haven't seen that already go ahead and check that out. I'm just making sure that I exfoliate so I'm preparing my legs for shaving. And I'm repeating the same process on the other leg. Really getting in there trying to you know scrub it up dub and uh, now I'm shaving my legs getting that smooth finish this is very awkward showing myself shaving online but I mean this is what we do people if you don't shave comment down below and let me know style my hair off camera because it usually takes up a lot of space so I just did that off camera I'm finishing it off with some oil 
and I like all the red looks it's a subtle color not too bright and I really like it let me know what you think now we're getting into the facial care part of the routine I'm putting on this spa headband that I also got for Christmas so that it doesn't touch my hair none of the products touch my hair okay people I'm using CeraVe hydrating cleanser this is very gentle on my skin and I personally love it. It's the best cleanser I've gotten so far. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, just distributing this all around my face and it is not harsh at all, especially since I have eczema. I also decided to use my exfoliator on the low setting just to get a little pre-exfoliation vibe going on here and uh, i love how it works with the hydrating cleanser pat drying my face make sure you pat dry your face people do not rub your face do not irritate your face going in with more cleanser here because i am prepping my face to use the blade on it now this is good for exfoliation purposes and uh, it actually gets rid of a lot of dead skin as you can see along with hair and no the hair does not grow back thicker so do not freak out My face is all dry and the first thing I'm doing is applying salicylic acid to this pimple that I have on my chin. Next up I'm using serum on my face and uh, I just distribute it all around my face in circular motions as much as possible. I then go in with eye cream and use your ring finger for this. Be gentle, you know, don't beat up your face. <laughs> And last but not least, I'm going in with the moisturizer. All of this is from Honey Manuka. I think it's a Walmart brand, honestly. I think I've mentioned this before. And uh, once again, just distributing it all around my face. <laughs> Look how cute my hair looks. I then use my CeraVe eczema oil cream and i put it all around my face especially on problem areas but recently my face has been acting up people and i'm also distributing it on my arms because i also got yaksaba on my arms so i am also using this oil that was given to me it works great i'll link it in the description and last but not least chapstick and bamsire glowing now i am using some foot cream and just rubbing and massaging my feet foot massages are great for your health people you have many pressure points on your feet just in case you didn't know sealing that in with the fluffy socks and using the oil on my skin again just to hydrate it Repeating the same process on the other foot. As you can see, my feet are not the prettiest. I I like to think I have dancers' feet, so I just have eternal calluses on my feet that can never come off, no matter how many pedicures I have. Point flex, point flex, 
Okay, so I'm just pouring myself some sangria. Gonna chill with a little Netflix and some ceviche. You know, just enjoying myself, my own company. It's always good to be good on your own. And that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Bye!